But I also know this, that kids today are a lot more informed than you and I were. And we were more informed than our parents, but what these kids know today is scary. So I sat him down, I said, look, son, we need to have a little talk about the birds and the bees. And I said, but uh, I know that you and your buddies have already chatted about this, so why don't you do this? Why don't you tell me what you think you know, and I'll just fill in the blank spots. Which seemed rational, till 30 minutes later. I'm sitting there with a pen and a pad of paper going, they'll do that? Just got to ask, huh? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> now, if you've got a young man at your house around that age, you know this, that they think they know everything. And what, ha what happens when that world meets the world that's still naive, it can make for some of the funniest stuff you've ever seen in your life. And you've all had that. If you've got kids, you've had that moment where you've got blood in your mouth because you're biting your lip because you cannot laugh. <laughs> and during our little chat, one of these moments arrived. We were having our little talk, and I said, you know, son, I said, when you finally meet this girl, whoever she is, and you fall in love and you think you might do it, I go, you've got to swear to me right now that you will always use a condom. I said, because it prevents diseases, it prevents unwanted pregnancies. And he's kind of looking at me funny. I said, you know what a condom is, right? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> I go, all right. I go, why don't, you, uh, why don't you tell me so I know you know? And he goes, dad. I go, come on. And he goes, oh, a condom <laughs> is a rubber thing shaped like a wiener that hums. You've been in Mama's sock drawer, haven't you? <laughs> oh, oh, my wife loves that joke. She goes, why do you do that joke? You know I don't have one of those. And I go, I know that. Just figured if you kept hearing it. <laughs> She's like, Bill, and I go, sorry. <laughs> I'm just a guy. Oh, man. He, uh, that's what, one of the things I love the best about my son is that he makes me laugh. And he does it without trying, which makes it even funnier. He'd been playing baseball with his buddies one day. And I guess he slid and got a scrape on his rear end right there. And he came in the house. He's whining about it. He goes, Dave, got a scrape, got a scrape, got a scrape. My wife said, well, go in your room, take your pants off, and I'll come in and rub some ointment on it. Well, I'm in there talking to him. My wife rubbed an ointment on his butt. And he farted. I'm laughing because I'm a guy. And my wife looked at him and went, Travis. And he turned to his mother with the straightest face I've ever seen in my life and said, my compliments to the chef. That's my boy. Every year we take a trip across country going back to the ranch and uh, just me and my son. It's our time to be buddies or dad and son, whatever the situation might call for. And so I didn't know this, but apparently across this country there has been this popularity of topless steakhouses popping up. And they're legitimate restaurants, just the waitresses are topless. But they don't advertise it like, they don't say like Cindy's Topless Steakhouse. It just says Cindy's Steakhouse. So we're, dri yeah. <laughs> we're driving across country, and I, it got to be about dinner time. And I said, son, you getting hungry? He goes, yeah. And I go, hey, look, there's a steakhouse. So we pull in the steakhouse. We walk up to the hostess, who's fully dressed. And she goes, can I get you gentlemen at a table? I said, yes, man, that'd be nice. There's two of us. She seats us at our table. I'm looking at the menu, and I become aware of the fact that someone else has walked up next to the table. And I looked up. And my son's eyes are glued to this woman <laughs> like my eyes were glued to that woman. And she goes, can I get you boys anything? I said, oh, Lord. 
said, ma'am, I, I, I believe there's been a mistake made here. And my son goes, don't you want to hear what the special is? <laughs> Honey, I believe we're looking at the special. <laughs> and he goes, well, we could split some. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Boy, all the way across that parking lot, I was like, if your mama asked where we had dinner, we went to Burger King. He goes, there's no boobs. I go, that's right. There are no boobs at Burger King. He goes, how was your steak? I said, great. <laughs> the, uh, I, he's starting to play sports a little more seriously now, and I had to take him in the other day to get his real, a real physical. And we were driving to the doctor's office, and his only concern about this whole physical was whether he was going to get a shot or not. He goes, Dad, am I going to get a shot? And I said, no, it's your sports physical. There's no shot. Two minutes later, Dad, am I going to get a shot? And I go, did you not hear me? No shot. Sports physical. Two minutes later. Dad, I go, son, a shot is the least of your worries at this point. <laughs> so <laughs> we get in the doctor's office, and I'm standing right next to him. The doctor checks his heart and his lungs and his blood pressure. And all of a sudden, the doctor goes, all right, son, take your pants off. What'd he say? <laughs> he wants you to take your pants off. Why? <laughs> it's just part of your sports physical, son. We, we wear pants in sports. <laughs> take your pants off. Doctor goes, all right, take your underwear off. Dad. I said, it's all right. And he starts. Am I in trouble for something? Just take your underwear off. So he slides those drawers down. And that doctor reached up and just grabbed him. Do y'all remember that cartoon? where the cat would be asleep on the rug and that little puppy would sneak up behind and go raw, 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 and that cat would scream to the ceiling that would have been my son if that doctor had not had hold of him and he is flipping out and the doctor goes son relax I just want to make sure you got four dad two he meant two it's a joke ha 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 So the doctor's got hold of him, and he goes, all right, son, cough. And my son goes, huh? And he said, no, boy, cough. And he goes, I forgot how! <laughs> all the way home, he won't even look at me. He's just straight out the windshield, boy. Finally, about halfway home, he goes, Dad. And I said, yes, yeah, son. He goes, that was weird. I said, I know. I said, but you got to get it done, man. He goes, well, I know. Still weird. I said, yeah. Wait till you're 40. <laughs> what happens then? You see this finger, son? They stick it in your butt. What? <laughs> Which is amazing, isn't it? With all the advances in modern medicine, this is still the only way to check for that man. <laughs>